Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Abyss Fusion, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Welcome back to another Junks review. Today, we're doing Rockstar Super Sour, and it is on the Bubble Burst flavour. Now, I got this particular can out of my Asda shop, and it cost me 89 pence, which is 10 pence more cheaper than it would normally be. Uh, when I went out to do some shopping for the house, I came across this because I haven't been able to find it in the local corner shops I go to. And we are doing the 25% more edition, which is more caffeine and more flavour, supposedly. Um, but yeah, I couldn't find it in any of my corner shops. And then I go to Asda for the first time in about a year, and they happen to have had it. Because I was also trying to find a new monster flavours while I was in there, and they didn't have it. So I just thought I'd get these and a, a big case of uh, Asda Blue Charge over there behind the windowsill. But anyway... So I'm just going to give you guys a full 360 of the can, and it's a pretty cool can design, I'm not really going to lie, apart from the big black blurb on the back. But, we've got the Rockstar uh, writing going on there, with the A in Star being replaced with the Rockstar star thingy. We've got the Super Sour Energy right there, and then we've got the big Rockstar logo on the front. And to represent the bubble burst colour, I suppose, we've got a combination of different tone blues. So we've got light blue... With a dark blue, and with the light blue, there's also Rockstar in the background, and you know Super Sour as well. On the top, it's uh, the top of it is silver, apart from the pole one, which is black, and on the bottom is standard as well. So we're just gonna have a look at the back of the description very, very quickly, go through the information, and then talk about the caffeine content and if it has more flavor. So uh, the total amount of sugar is 4.5 grams per 100 ml, or 200. That not ugh, why am I saying 200? 4.5 grams per 100 ml, 23 grams altogether in the can. It's also got vitamin B3, B6, and B12. Carbonated mixed flavor energy drink with added caffeine, taurine, vitamins, and sugar, and sweeteners. Vitamin B3, niacin, B6, and B12 contribute to the reduction of tightness and fatigue. Fat, fatigue. Uh, and the total caffeine content. 40 milligrams per 100 ml, so it's got now 200 milligrams of caffeine altogether in this one can. Uh, this also applies because Rockstar, I think it was last year, I can't remember when exactly, but they took some of their original Rockstars, the original flavor, tropical guava flavor, blueberry pomegranate flavor, and this one, and one more, I think, I might be incorrect. They took all of the original ones and gave them 25% more caffeine and 25% more flavor, supposedly more flavor anyway. And that means that the old flavour of them, you might not be able to see them anymore. But anyway, so we're going to open this, we're going to smell it, and if we can't smell it, put it in our little glass container right here. And if we still can't smell it, I'm just going to go for it and drink it. So, here we go. Let's have a smell of it. Definitely a sour bubble, what is it, bubble burst? Bubble berry? Bubble, bubble burst. I'm guessing a bubblegum flavour though. <sighs> Definitely smells of sour. Smells like bubblegum to me. <laughs> there was one other super sour one. I believe it was raspberry flavour, but I might be incorrect there. I can't find that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it smells very, very sour. I'm not going to lie. Which is good, because, you know, it's... I like my sour drinks, you know, like, which is a bit weird because, you know, you'd think with more sugar it'd be sour, but it has half the sugar than normal monsters and that, so, oh well. So that's what it looks like. I haven't had this in a very long time, I just want to inform you all right now. So that's what it looks like, It it's got a bit of a purplish reddish look to it um it's a very pretty color not gonna lie but it's purplish pinkish reddish it's a combination of a lot of different colors but i like the color of it anyway this is rockstar super sour bubble burst 25 percent more caffeine and flavor it's been uh, quite a few years since i've had the bubble burst one normal the normal one so, here we go. Ooh. I forget about that. I forget about that sour kick. Mm. 
It's definitely like a bubblegum flavour. Oh, God. I forget, like... I think it's been two, three years since I've had this one. Because I would always have, like... Come, like... If this was in the shelf, in my local corn stores, shops, and there, were, there was blueberry pomegranate, tropical guava, and every other rock star, I'd probably avoid this one, but... It's got a really sour kick to it. And I kind of like it. The flavour, like... In terms of the flavour, it tastes exactly what it says. Bobble burst. I think it's bobble gum. I, I really don't know, actually. Combinated mixed flavour energy. It doesn't say if it's bobble gum or not. But... I'm going to assume... It is bobble gum. I'm just going to assume it is. But... It's, the, the sourness is, like, obviously it's called super sour, duh. But the sourness is really strong in there. It does taste like, compared to the first time, like, when I had it last time, two, three years ago at best. It tastes, like, it's it's a lot stronger, I can tell. The sour is a lot stronger, the kick is a lot stronger, and the bubble gum, it tastes a lot stronger than it should. And I like that a lot. Um... I'm not the biggest fan of the Super Sour range, however, that Rockstar has to offer. I will be completely honest, because if I have them all the time, I feel sick. Because that's what sour beverages does to me. It says to my body, you know what? I'm going to make you throw up everywhere, because your body hates sour. But I could definitely drink that whole can, and I'm perfectly fine. But I've never been a big fan of the Super Sour range that they've had. Um, not that I hate them. It's just that... They've not been my favourite beverages to try from the whole Rockstar category. They are okay, don't get me wrong. This is actually pretty pretty good, I'm not going to lie. But I don't think I would have it again strictly because of that super sour taste to it. I'd probably become unwell because my body does not react very well to sour stuff. But that, as it goes, with 25% more caffeine and 25% more flavour... It's okay, you know, like, the sour is definitely there, the taste is definitely there, it tastes like bubblegum to me anyway. Uh, I like it a lot, it's really, really nice. But, in terms of a rating, uh, the can design rating, we'll go for that one first. It's a very standout can, if you know what I mean. You know, it's very, very bright, it's got the bright blue and that on it, so, it stands out a hell of a lot more than the blueberry, pom uh, no, the blueberry pomegranate flavour. I think that's, yeah, blueberry pomegranate flavour. It definitely stands out more because it's a lot more bluer than that one. But I'd still go with the blueberry pomegranate flavour. Um, so, but the can design, it gets a 6 out of 10. You know, it's perfectly reasonable. It stands out a lot more. And the flavour, again, if you like sour beverages, you will definitely like that. And if you go to your Asda, it's only 89 pence, so it's 10 pence more, 10 pence less cheaper than normal. But the taste, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's not great for me. But I kind of like it. Anyway, this has been the Best Fusion. Thank you all very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button. Possibly share it with a friend, family, or relative. I check the description below for my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm always active on Instagram, and I'm no longer active on Twitter. Anyway, I will see you all in the next review that we do. Whenever that is.